again, thank you guys so much for sticking with us. This is going to be the last set of games before round two starts. And all the main casters and the main streamers are going to take that. Uh, so I'll probably host Fear Dragon or Gauntlet, depending on how it is. So I do appreciate you guys sticking with me uh, through the set of matches. It looks like we have a, 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 a split chat decision of who they want to win. Uh, so I'm... Oh, sh I literally just hit my hotkey to switch scenes right when that paused and I straight thought I did that. I was like, holy crap. I found a hotkey to pause the game. Um, so, yeah, guys. So, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate all the support that I've seen so far. I am Twitch affiliated so any of you guys have those little cheers. If you guys want to cheer for me, I do appreciate it. It is pennies to the dollar that I get. So, the more I get, I appreciate it. I do try to make a living off this. Uh, so, I do appreciate that and I'm sorry for begging um, if you guys want to follow the channel, please do follow me on Twitter, Draven underscore Ryan. Uh, my name is Draven, of course. You're watching Dre TV, and I am the community caster for Sysum Gaming, so I cast as often as I can. I'll cast your replays if you send them to me. All those good things. Um, so without further ado, let's jump right into this. Not that. Spawning in the bottom right. Please cheer for him. You know, uh, you know his name. It is the red Protoss player. It is Love Crit. And makes you guys scream loud and proud for these players. And spawning in the top left position. The blue Terran player. It is Helton. And uh, our, as we can see already, Helton kind of going for a very specific build. He's getting um, two Marines out plus the Widow Mine. So I guess he's kind of concerned that there will be Oracles uh, in his way. And ironically enough, uh, Lovecrit thinking there's going to be Reapers in his base has the uh, most core there on defense. Um, so Adip's going to get in here. He's actually going to get a... Might get an SCV kill. Gets one, an SCV kill. Helton kind of... Um, what is it? Hesitates there for a split second. And again, guys, make sure you are cheering for these players. I do let them know that there is chat cheering for them, so let's hear it from them, guys. Hear it from me. I'm going to be selfish like that. I want to hear you guys cheer my name. <laughs> Did I mention yet that I'm selfish? <laughs> I do appreciate you guys uh, tuning into the chat. It seems like we do have some kind of a, a lot of Swedish fans here. Swedish? Sweden. Swedish? <laughs> do you guys do you guys do you call Sweden Sweden or Swedish? I'm not too sure, but here comes a medevac filled with the Marines and the Widowmines. Pollen overtouch goes after the Medevac does get the Widowmines, but a couple of probes do start getting weakened. And uh these Marines are here, stops this mining. Great job there. Uh where did this What am I go? Did it get in the base? Sentries are here, takes down a couple Marines, and uh, those medevacs, f uh, medevac flies away. Oh, there it is. What? How's it seeing it? Oh, the Observer's here. <laughs> that Woodamite was able to get three kills off the Observer is there. So, oh, Swedish. Oh, so it is Swedish fish. Everyone out here is obsessed with those freaking red fishes, and they call them Swedish fish. I'm like, I wonder if that's like derogatory to call someone from Sweden Swedish. But I don't, I don't. That's a lot of gates. Yes. Back to the game. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gates here. But there's a liberator here. Liberator got four kills. But here we go, War Prism's here going after the Supply Depot a lot. Like we said, a lot of these gates just start warping in. Three warp-ins right now. Uh, Love Crate coming in. Sentry's up here. 
And he didn't want to fully support uh, or fully warp in just because there's a lot of Liberator there. So he wants to save it just in case uh, to get those stalkers there. But here's a huge attack. Two tanks are here. First tank going down, but the SCVs are here to repair it. Is he going to be able to get it? One tank goes down. Second tank. SCVs are trying to get the, the but the Marines are blocking it. SCV trying to repair it, but is the damage done? Marines are here. Winter mines going off. A lot of workers killed on both sides of the fence. The Marauder is here going after the Stalkers. Adams getting taken down and the SCVs pulling to stick with this army. Marines going after the War Prism. is going to snipe the War Prism with everything in it. And it looks like Helton holds onto this, but who actually won that battle in the end? We do see 11 workers killed in favor of Lovecourt, but 15 going down for Helton. Kind of even trade. We had that Liberator in the back that whole time as we were... Sweden doesn't even have fish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to not read chat as I was um, casting, but that was really funny. <laughs> Sweden doesn't even have fish. <laughs> yes, you guys do. You guys are like like one of the biggest fish markets, isn't it? In, on like the Eastern European side? Or am I thinking of another European country? It won't surprise me. I thought Sweden is like known for their fish. <laughs> Helton is a programmer. Dude, more like a pro defensor. That was a gnarly defense. Plus attacking with that Liberator. That Liberator is kind of what saved the game. Because that Liberator was over here in the back. I kind of missed it. But that Liberator was over here in the back killing this. While that attack was going on. And so unfortunately Lovecourt was not able to micro back enough stalkers in time. Norway is known for the fish. That's what it is. But Norwegians are more known for their sailing, isn't it? Like uh, nautical stuff. Either way, here comes another a huge attack here from Lovecrit. And uh, there's no tanks here to support this. Marauders are here cleaning up these adepts. Adepts trying to get in the middle of this, but just not able to do it. it looks like Helton jumps into that bunker. Great job there. SUV is going to get pulled and repair this bunker. And I don't think Lovecrit's going to be able to recover from this huge attack. But Helton just stems on forward. And G, G gets called. And Helton takes game number one. In his best of three series. Sweden is known for Volvo. That's something he's want to be proud of. I guess it's not as bad as the Saab. Saab! <laughs> Saab is from Sweden. That I'm pretty positive on. Helton too good. Helton's defenses are sick, dude. That was a wicked sick defense. Both times. <laughs> Here comes the 2-0. <laughs> Let's do it, man. I'm, I want to get best of three series. I don't want to sweep. I don't want Helton to 4-0 this guy. I feel terrible. That would be just like SSO and Classic. Saab, Bubble, Skana. Skana's are decent. Saab's are a piece of crap, man. No offense. Ikea is Korean? Or Kia's are Korean. Ikea is... Ikea fighting. Abbas. Netherlands. I know my countries, I swear. Uh, who's up? Help, what's up? That's right. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's just be jumping right into the spawning in the bottom right position. Down 1-0, or down 0-1 in the series. The red Protoss player. It is Lovecrit. Guys, make sure you show them your support. And spawning in the top left position. The blue Terran player up 1 in this best of 3. Already 2 0 Love crit it is the blue Terran Helton. <laughs> Sir, are you making that up? International Korean Electronics Accessories. <laughs> IKEA doesn't well I guess IKEA does sell accessories. <laughs> you guys are too funny. I am going to, next time some of my buddies 
because there's no Ikea's here in Idaho, but they're all over California. Um, and that's where I'm from. That's where I used to live. Like right next to the Blizzard HQ down in Irvine. And there's a lot of Ikea's. So next time someone says they're going to Ikea, I'm just going to make, I'm going to say that International Korean Electronics Accessories. <laughs> but the Ikea food is amazing. Their hot dogs are just bar none. Best hot dogs ever outside of Costco's. Korean composite love cl oh yeah uh, nothing out of the ordinary sorry guys that we kind of oh elo prime coming in coming in with the google search um yeah with the games when they start a little bit slower like so I always feel bad that uh, I'm not really commenting on the game, but no one's cheesing. <laughs> Unless Reaper takes down that probe. Helton's already up. Helton won, man. He got that one probe. That's it. Love crate should just uh, GG out now. <laughs> Probe's dead. And here we go. Finally, some sort of uh, build from Love Crate. Go drop in that box facility. And uh, we'll see if uh, this Adept is going to be, if they're going to be able to stop it. And get that Reaper before it goes after that Robox facility. Headquartered. I mean, that is true. Just because it's headquartered doesn't necessarily mean it's from there. It just means it's cheaper to be there. Escaping taxes. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> And that Mothership Core dropping that pile on overcharge. Did Helton see it though? He saw his building if he clicked on it. Um, not too sure if he clicked on that robotic facility. I'm assuming he did. Or at least saw it. He has to know it's probably a robotic facility. Interesting enough, observers coming out of it. I would assume a warp gate would be coming out of it, but it's an observer. I guess he's kind of concerned with possibly cloaked uh, banshees. Go, Marines. I would never understand why the wood mine looks bigger than the freaking marine. Oh, you know, it's not for cloaked banshees, it's for the wood mine. But where's the observer? Only one observer. Look at that wood mine. Oh, here comes the. <gasps> it's going across the map. Love Crate doesn't see it. I don't think Love Crate saw the. Uh... <laughs> that, uh. Oh, here, here observers coming on the south side. There we go. Love crit moving his stalkers around. And is he going to be able to see a boost on forward? Sees the pile and overcharges goes off. And uh, stops that medevac from coming in. <laughs> Ing <laughs> Ingvar. Comparod. Lumtal. Agner. Uh, you're saying something funny. Pile overcharge does go off. Look at Landing hits the Mothership Core. Look how much damage it did. Only has 10 HP left on the Mothership Core. And these Marines can easily come in and snipe that. And a uh, great play with that meta or with that um, Wood of Mine there. They're doing a decent number of damage to that Mothership Core. Only thing left is 10 HP plus the... Uh, how's it healing? Wait a minute. Oh, it's the energy that was 10. Durr. Durr, 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 durr. But Helton, man, doing such a good job with his Terran play. And a scan going off. Original post post address if the company were when it's got his name. Dude, we're so off topic about the IKEA thing. We should start hashtagging IKEA. True meaning of a t of IKEA. I don't know, man. Is it gonna be like a Spider Man with three movie origin stories? Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, Homecoming, all with the origin stories. <laughs> Here comes a Disruptor. Oh, is he going to get a Disruptor shot on top of these SUVs? <gasps> oh, it's going to be so sick if he gets it. Oh! Six worker kills with that Disruptor shot. Oh. 
That was just so sick. <laughs> All right, here comes the Liberator coming on the back outside here. We'll see what kind of shots he's going to be able to do with that. The Lone Marine. What is the loneliest number that Liberator coming in? Got on the back outside. He's going to get at least three kills before uh, Lovecraft realizes what's going on. One kill, two kills. And here comes the counterattack. Health pushing the objective. Getting Lovecraft. Lovecraft needs to hold on to this as best he can. Oh, did I miss another one? No! No! <laughs> I can't. And uh, here comes the attack. Health needs to uh, push the aggression forward. Lovecraft needs to hold on as best he can. He's got one disruptor with this. Two tanks are with this army. He's going to lose this base. He's got to pull out as best he can. Giggity. Disruptor shot going after the Marauder. Gets a decent number of the Marines. Gets a decent number. Or gets only one Marauder. But there's only one Marauder to begin with. And unfortunately, Lovecraft just has to let that third base get sacked. Scan going off. Seeing this army coming. And uh, the disruptor coming. Land, he's going to land right on top of the tanks. Get a decent shot on top of that tank. Here's the second disruptor over in the back with that warp prism. And Helton snipes the third and moves out. He's got a lot of tanks go moving on the factory. Going to swap out, get that reactor. So looks like he's going to start dropping some wood mines or the um, cyclones. Oh no! I keep missing these disruptor shots! Whatever that was got six. Oh, he sniped the war prism though. Oh, I keep believe I missed that too. Oh. Alright, well, in case you didn't see it, war prism came in, dropped the disruptor, got six SCV kills. As it was escaping, Helton came in and sniped the war prism with the disruptor still in it. Uh, so a good pick off there from Helton. And third base is getting reestablished now for Lovecrit. At the same time, Helton takes his third base, and it's already decently established, at least built. And uh, more gateways going down here for um, Lovecrit. Oh, jeez, that's so bright. Fudge, that is even brighter. Still continued winning without Juhog. And I don't think uh, Lovecraft realizes that there's the uh, a huge doom drop, not to mention with the Liberators coming in here. And the Mushroom Chorus here has got enough for a pile and overcharge. And Lovecraft's kind of hanging out here, and I don't think he realizes uh, these adept well, the Adepts are here going to go after these SUVs. But here's a big attack here from uh, Helton. And Helton does not see this coming. Uh, he's got no, it's coming now. Pilot overcharge needs to go down. Uh, one pilot overcharge goes off, and only one pilot overcharge was able to go off, and then it got sniped. And uh, here's just a huge drop. Liberators are taking control of this. A lot of the gateways are being unpowered and sniped. And there's really nothing that Lovecrit's going to be able to do to defend against this. This is Helton's entire army, and he's not going to be able to push on forward on top of this. Uh, Adepts coming in. Going to try to get behind the tanks here. And they're going to try to spread out best they can. And get on top of this Marines to top of the Marauders. Stalker's coming in but fighting underneath the Liberators. It's not going to be good. GG gets called. And Helton takes game number two in the series. And unfortunately for Lovecraft, he's out of the tournament, I believe. I'm not too sure. And uh, Helton moves on, guys. That is a GG. And we... Uh, where... Dude, I don't even think the brackets are updated. Oh, there it is. Is it? No. I don't know, but thank you guys so much uh, for sticking with us. Like I said, you guys, please follow the channel. Um, I'm Twitch affiliates doing the cheer bit things. I appreciate it. I get money off of it, so I appreciate you guys donating it. Um, so I think that's it in terms of games, at least on my end. Um, all the other games are going to start in about 15 minutes. Uh, so let's see who's currently online still. And I'm going to give them a nice big fat host even though they are hosting. Or even though they're... Are, uh, 
Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's badass, boss. I appreciate it so much that you guys are able to do that and support the Twitch affiliated guys. Um, I am trying to get partnered, and they are going to roll out more things for Twitch affiliated to be more like Twitch partnered. So I appreciate it, and I thank you guys so much for that. We've been about about three and a half hours in. Eh, about three hours in. So I do appreciate it, guys. I will have the VODs up if you guys want the VODs. I know you guys are fans of uh, Love Crate, or Love Crate and Helton. Helts in. Um, I can get VODs up for you guys. I can put them onto YouTube, and then that way you guys can have them for your team. Um, no problem doing that. Because um, I have both our games. I have the uh, I have Helton's versus Love Crate the first time. Then I have uh, Helton's versus True, which he lost, obviously. And then I have Love Crit versus uh, Shannon, and, or Sunnen. And then I have Love Crit. So I, I get all those VODs. All of my games are his. <laughs> so I'll get this up for you. Just ping me on Twitter um, and remind me because I'll forget. But I'll get him up hopefully today. And if there's just a point of contact you guys want, I'll get him cut and put on YouTube. So that way you guys can share amongst your team and all that good stuff. So thank you guys again so much. I appreciate all the, the, the donations and the follows and everything. You guys, It means so much to me uh, for someone who's not partnered to... Um, have the ability to have this so i do i do appreciate it so much uh i have cat one and Zer zergathol sick name uh appreciate it guys both uh for the new follows and stuff like that so again thank you guys so much we're gonna be hosting up fear dragon because that guy's a boss and um he has almost 2,000 followers so damn go him and anyway, guys thank you guys again so much you have a wonderful night evening and uh make sure you guys cheer for a section from gaming true that is my boy. That is my teammate. And, of course, uh, GSL next weekend. Besides some gaming, Gumiho versus uh, Sue. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Gumi God. Thank you guys again for the support. You guys have a good one. Probably should put who I'm hosting. <laughs> Peace.